In this video, we're going to take a look at what a seller can do to prepare a home for a home inspector and his home inspection. Stay tuned. So the question is, what can a seller do to prepare a property for a home inspection? And the short answer is simply to make the property fully accessible for the inspector to complete the home inspection. So if you own a condominium in a building, you may need to uh, coordinate access to the roof. If the roof is locked or you're in a larger building, you may need to contact the management company for access instructions to the roof. Uh, if it's a larger building, you may need to coordinate having someone from the management company at the property on the day and time of the home inspection to open a uh, lock system areas. So. Uh, something to be thoughtful about is if there is any aspect of the building in which your property is found, if necessary, coordinate access to areas that are otherwise not readily accessible. Now, even if you live in a single family where the building is straightforward and you don't have a management company, you may still need to be thoughtful about creating access. If there's an attic access panel in a closet, it's going to be helpful if you can clear out the closet so that the inspector can place a ladder to enter into the attic as part of his home inspection. If you have systems in the basement, be it a tankless hot water or an HVAC system, you might wanna remove items that are stored up close to the system so that the inspector can readily access the systems for his home inspection. So common sense, but again, be thoughtful about all aspects of the residence to make sure that it's easy enough for the inspector to inspect it. So one thing that can come up in my experience is the electric panel. Where is it? If it's hidden by a work of art, you may wish to be the one to take the work of art down off the wall and safely store it to one side so the inspector can see the panel and inspect it as part of his home inspection. So just give thought to the various elements that make up your home and make sure that they're readily accessible. Uh, also, it is also very valuable uh, to take care of some basic repair and maintenance issues prior to the inspection. And as I go through this list, I'm actually of the opinion that it's best to take care of these basic items before you list for sale. It's not always easy to scramble to address some things that fall into this category uh, on a day's notice right before a home inspection. So. You might want to look to take care of some of these basic repair items before you list for sale. It'll help you with selling the home and then you'll be ready for any home inspector uh, or more ready uh, when the home inspector comes. So things that you can address include uh, light switches and electric uh, sockets that no longer work. Perhaps have an electrician in to address these items. If you have any loose doorknobs or door hinges or door parts that uh, make doors operate less than smoothly, you might have a handyman look at those. Do you have any noisy ceiling fans or uh, bathroom vent fans uh, or range and exhaust fan uh, that is unnecessarily noisy that could be easily uh, addressed by having a handyman attend to these matters? That would be great. Look, it makes a world of difference if the noisy vent fan in the bathroom is not noisy. And if it needs to be replaced, it's a small ticket item and it'll make uh, for a better impression and a better uh, ultimate result for you in selling your home. If you have any leaks, it could be as simple as there's a leak at the kitchen faucet, there's a leak at the bathroom faucet, but it could be a more significant leak. But whatever leaks you know of, you should address. Uh, and if your hot water tank is leaking, that's a sign that's a, probably going to be needing to be replaced. You might want to be thinking about doing that before it gives way. You may want to also fix any minor damage that you're aware of. So if you have a cracked window pane or two, or there's any loose or uh, missing shingles, or there's a crooked gutter outside, or you have some damaged or missing screens, these can be addressed and make for a better overall impression of your home if you have attended to them. There's also some basic maintenance tasks that you'll wanna get on top of. If you have gutters, have they been cleaned recently? Your oven and cooktop can always benefit if they haven't been cleaned by being cleaned. And if you have a filter for your HVAC system, probably wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to change it. Look, you're not trying to hide anything. You're just trying to put your best 
foot forward and take the time and spend a little money to attend to some basic items that if you've taken care of them, go away. And then the buyer and the inspector can focus more on the big picture and not get lost in a long list of little items that if you as the homeowner and seller can address, make for a better overall home inspection experience for the buyer and make it more likely you achieve your objective, which is to sell the home to the buyer having the home inspection as you've advanced that far in the process on your pathway to completion and closing. My name is Charles Cherney. I'm a top residential real estate agent here in the Cambridge and Somerville, Massachusetts market. And I'm here to help you buy the right home or sell for the best price or simply answer your questions about the market, your home and the community. Reach out at any time by text, telephone or email. I'm communicating with people each and every day and I welcome the opportunity to be of service to you. I have a lot of videos on the channel all about the home purchase process and selling and the community of Cambridge and Somerville. So be sure to check those videos out. And as I said, reach out. I'm here to help. I welcome the opportunity to connect. Take care.